At the same time, control over trade routes slipped away. The arteries that once brought wealth and exotic goods to Rome began to dry up. Rivals like the Sasanian Empire intercepted the Silk Road, draining Rome's wealth. The Empire's rivals grew stronger as Rome's grip weakened and the flow of riches slowed to a trickle. Maritime routes became dangerous and luxury goods grew scarce. The once bustling markets of Rome echoed with emptiness as merchants found it harder to bring in the treasures that had fueled the city's splendor. The Empire's economic engine sputtered, starved of resources and revenue. With fewer goods to trade and less wealth to collect, Rome's power waned. Rome's unique advantages disappeared, not with a bang, but a slow erosion. The city's greatness faded gradually, as the secrets that had built it slipped quietly into oblivion. The barbarians at the gates were a symptom, not the cause. The real threat was the loss of knowledge, the slow unravelling of what had made Rome exceptional. The real loss was the edge, the secrets and control that made Rome great. When the libraries emptied and the scrolls were forgotten, so too was the Empire's legacy. When the formula was forgotten, so was Rome's supremacy. In the end, it was not just stone and mortar that crumbled, but the very foundation of an empire built on knowledge.